they gradually plucked this hairline. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by My First Wig. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. Now, before we get into this glueless, okay, glueless beginner friendly install on this natural wig right here, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so, like I said, this unit comes to us from my first wig. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. Let's go ahead and get into this styling because I'm I'm pretty excited, my first wig. This is their thinner, more transparent, realistic lace, so I'm really excited to see how this looks on me. I think I may need to spray this unit down, but you know, we, we gonna see because <laughs> Y'all know how I get, I don't wanna spray nothing. I just wanna put my mousse on and go, but we gonna see. When you wash your hair, because this is a kinky straight unit, it will swell when you blow dry. So you'll need to press it back out like I do when um, I go in to do my styling. But first, let's see how she's sitting. They even sent me a look, a little bonnet right here, okay. I ripped my dag on wig cap, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate opening another pack because I get a good vibe with this one. It stretches how I need her to stretch. God dang it. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like it's pulling over here. What's going on? Oh, my glass. Uh, wait a minute. Every time I hit my glasses like that, it'd be like, oh, man. <laughs> I think they gave me a side part. Is it a right side part? No, it's not. The audacity to send me a left part. Mm. They did so in the elastic band, so let's see how this fits on my head. I'm going to put it on the middle one. I'm pretty sure my first wig runs small for me. I don't know, we're gonna see though, since I had my hair flat. All right, put it on my dome like this, and bring it back like that, that left side part. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> Ooh, but the, um, the lace though, okay. The lace is definitely given. Okay, the hairline, the lace, I do have the deep bleach knots on my unit and the deep and ultimate pre-plug hairline. There's a gradual um, change in the hairline. Sometimes you'll get like a hairline that's pre plucked in the front right here, like this much, but then like right behind it, there's a line and you can see all that thickness. They gradually plucked this hairline. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time I pull it apart, you can get scalp. That is what gives you the natural, oh. Mm. That's what gives you the natural look, y'all. This is about to be cute. Because this is so pre-plucked and bleached, you can definitely see my cap in there. So, um, we're gonna try to fix that. First off, let me get my lace cut back. Ooh, a little ponytail. So this needs to go. There we go. I'm not gonna put no powder on my lace yet. I'm gonna use my mousse first before I glue it down just to see how this is sitting on my hairline. Put your glasses on. Cut this off. Not bad. All right, so you know why I'm here. Nairobi mousse, that's what we're gonna do. Two pumps. One, two. <laughs> I gotta control myself. <laughs> I could've done one more. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Glasses off. Put them on, just take them off, I know. I just realized my first wig don't have a little band, the elastic band. This is fitting down pretty good. My first wig, I'm pretty sure, normally runs Big Head Associate on me, um, but now that my hair is super flat under my wig, it's giving me like a perfect fit. It's a little lifted in the back, but it's pretty much a perfect fit, so. I feel like this looks pretty good, did I? <laughs> Did I just do something? I sure did. I sure did. And it gave me natural little hairs. I ain't gotta cut or trim a daggone thing. I'm probably not. I'm, I say probably because I might, but. <laughs> this is just with mousse. Mousse. Tie her down. Wait a minute. I don't want it in my face though. Here we go. Get into it now. Get into it now. <laughs> Let's get this hair straightened out. Why don't we? I think I want my part to be like right here. This is only 130% density? Oof, chow. I pity the fool that gets thicker than that. There's a lot of hair, y'all. I'm gonna spray it down with some water first, right up in here. 
God dang, spraying my arm. And then I'm gonna blow dry her with my Revlon brush. I may need to trim these ends, but I'm not gonna do that until I straighten the hair out a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit sleeker, but I'm not gonna use my flat iron. I'm gonna use my um, my hot comb. I am getting a little bit of shedding. Not too much though, like little teeny pieces. So that's not bad. Is it hot? I can't even, I don't even know. Sleek out some of the hair like this. It gives me like a slight press look without like going in with my, um, with my hot comb, not my hot comb, this is a hot comb, dang it Kai, with my flat iron. Like this this hair like I said for 130 percent density it comes off thick but if you sleek it down it won't look as thick y'all know I like you know my hair to be a little bit bigger you know for my facial features okay I like I like big hair but I think I'm gonna bump my ends so I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then we'll come back and finish it out together okay let's see if we gotta glue her down take off this band do we need to glue her down y'all I can't see yet hold up I don't think we do let me clip this side up and get my glasses on top of my lace Make sure she's not gonna be budging. Here we go. This is both sides, y'all, no glue. Up and around, okay? No glue on this wig whatsoever. Let me use my flyaway tamer. Got some flyaways up here on the top. I do wanna put some curls right here on the bottom. Nothing crazy, just a little, a little light work. Okay, I only got no lip gloss on. F focus, focus. I may just wear this hair pinned up in a claw clip, but let me let me do the styling for y'all. <laughs> Trying this curl now and again. Now, just so you know, if you ask me if the curl if it's gonna hold the curl, it's not. Okay, kinky straight units do not hold curls for a long period of time. You gotta put the work in to hold the curls for a couple hours. It's just how the hair is. It's very fluffy and it just. Yeah, I don't expect these curls to stay in. I just want a little bump on my end, but in order to get the bump, I gotta do curls like this. I, I know, I know. Get the looks. <laughs> what is that? Something is right here. What is this? Lint. Bumps, bumps, bumps. Almost done, y'all, almost done. Uh-oh. Ooh, almost dropped that. Ooh, chow. I'm about five minutes in, so this should take me about 10 minutes to curl the hair. My girl, always Amira, she actually has a some type of curler, like you just sit the hair on it and then it curls the hair for you. I don't know if she got that from Amazon, but if it is, I'm gonna go ahead and use her link and grab that joint so I can test it out for you guys. She used it on one of her kinky straight units and it came out really good. Now again, it did not hold the curls for a long time. When she curled it, it looked really good. Those curls fell out as soon as she combed the hair, but the unit still had like a, like kind of like a body wave type of look to it. And it looked, it looked really pretty, especially for a kinky straight texture, it looked really good. So I think I may want to try that. I don't think I got to put any type of product or lace tint on my lace. I mean, I may, I may can do, I probably can do like a little bit right there. It's a little ashy, but the rest of it is looking pretty daggone good. Just a touch of powder. <laughs> now I'm going to take my wide tooth comb. Oh, wait a minute, glasses. Oh, getting knocked off my face. Wide tooth comb. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I think it, okay. <laughs> Here I am talking mess and it's curling my wig. Okay, T3. The ends are a little scraggly, but I don't feel like, I don't wanna cut nothing. Do you wanna press that out at the top? Flatten that down. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get my lip gloss on. Do I wanna put on some hoops? Do I? I think I do. Girl, you know I, I, I love you. The curls are staying, y'all. They're staying. Okay, so here I am talking all that mess while I'm curling it, and the curler actually, 
what? Got my curls together. Y'all, this is gorgeous, okay? This is gorgeous. Now you can see my wig cap right there. Let me see if my 330 powder will kind of blend that a little bit right in front of it. And I could always just put on like a black wig cap or just don't wear one at all. It's a teeny bit thin right here. I'm gonna use my eyeliner pencil to fill that in like that. I think we're done, y'all. How we coming? We coming glueless. <laughs> Let me come up closer, okay? All the way glueless on my dome. My first wig, I'm not mad at that. No adhesive, no spray, no nada, okay? Nothing was used to get this unit like this besides mousse. Get, get, get into it, get into it. It worked out really well. Hold on, I got too much hair right here. Let me just bring some of it back. In my opinion, this is beginner friendly when it comes to the hairline and the lace. There was no need to pluck or pull the unit and there was no excess tinting that I need to do for my lace to blend it down to me. If you know how to use your hot tools, you'll be good to go. Now I will tell you the price point for this one, she up there. But for my first wig, that is normal. Their price point is more on the higher side when it comes to human hair wigs. But they do have a sale going on right now. Y'all know the deals are here, okay? The deals are here and the sales are dropping. Call Daddy Papa. Call him right now and get in good for the holidays, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to my first wig for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and the coupon codes I have for this unit down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.